Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome back in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, uh, we had seen uh, how we can create an executor service that uses a single worker thread. But the real power of executor service comes when we create a thread pool of threads and execute multiple tasks concurrently in the thread pool. So in this video tutorial, uh, we'll see uh, how we can create an executor service that uses a thread pool and execute multiple tasks con concurrently right so here i have created a project with executors with multiple workers thread pool example and here you can see in this package dot client package i have a class is called client test which is having a main method so here first of all i'm going to create a thread pool using executors so as we know that we have a executors uh, utility class so that utility class earlier we had used uh, a method is called sing uh, new single uh, executor thread right this is the method a static method we had used to create a thread pool right uh, when you use this method then as we know that only once i mean worker thread will be created in this pool and the same worker thread will be used to execute the different tasks but uh, if you have a multiple task then uh, why not you create a uh, pool with the multiple worker threads uh, to do the same way we have a method is called new uh, fixed thread pool and here you can specify the number of threads to be maintained in this thread pool so here I'm going to create a thread pool uh, with uh, two worker threads so size I'm given as two uh, you can uh, give size anything whatever you want right as per your requirement so here I have chosen size as two now this returns us the executor service reference now i'm going to create a, a multiple task using a anonymous class just uh, uh, sake for uh, save some time so i would create a like task uh, i have given the task one equals to new runnable here also you can use lambda expression as well so i have created anonymous class and given as a name a task one and here you can uh, print a thread name so that uh, we'll check uh, i mean uh, this task is uh, assigned to his thread uh, which worker thread right and here we can print the, print the worker thread name as well and here let's suppose here i'm going to write uh, my sorry my task one start right so it started let's say started and uh, and my task end right let's suppose you have uh, some business logic between these two sop and that business logic takes a few millions few milliseconds to execute so let's take a uh, pause for a uh, few milliseconds so here uh, we have a, a time unit time unit and uh, you can call uh, time unit you can take in anything so here you can take in days hours microseconds so here i'm going to take in the seconds right and i'm going to call a sleep method and i'll make pause let's say this uh, uh, task uh, basically takes uh, two milliseconds to execute so let's make pause of two milliseconds and this will you will have to wrap inside the try catch because this throws sleep method throws interrupted exception so this is our first task we have created is anonymous class let's replicate this code three times to create three tasks and we'll give the local variable as task2 task2 has started here then task2 is completed over here similarly we have a task3 let's say task3 has started here and completing over here right now we can make use of uh, this executor service to submit these three tasks right how we can do we have already seen the previous tutorial now i'm going to submit this task individually right so we have a submit method right so let's call a submit method which accepts runnable as an argument so we have a task one and similarly we can submit uh, task 2 and task 3 to this executor service as well 
and once uh, this task is completed then we would like to uh, shut down this executor service gracefully right so to do the same we have a method is called shutdown right so i'm going to call shutdown and that's it we are done now let's run this application and see how it works now if i run this program then here you can see the console here uh, you have a basically uh, two threads right uh, so you can uh, look at the worker thread name pool one uh, thread two and pool one thread one this is the two worker thread so why two worker threads because we have given the i mean uh, pool size is two that's why two worker thread has been created by the executor framework and here uh, uh, thread one and thread two start executing these two tasks task two and task one now task one is completed over here task two is also completed now again uh, you can see the that thread uh, worker thread is getting reused right so same worker thread uh, pool one thread one uh, was started executing uh, basically uh, task one either of the task one or task two that we don't know because both has started simultaneously so and same uh, pool one and thread two task uh, uh, worker thread is uh, basically trying to uh, complete uh, task three as well right so there is some reusability of these threads right and creation of threads and managing the task everything is uh, basically handled by the uh, java executor frameworks right so that's the way here we i have created a anonymous class but you can create a separate class uh, right and you can uh, pass the runnable object or how we have passed over here similar fashion just for just sake for simplicity i have used anonymous class here also uh, you can use a uh, 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 lambda expression as well right because uh, runnable is a marker interface right guys so uh, in this example basically we had uh, we have created a executor service with a, a, a fixed bool of size 2 right in the beginning itself here you can see and uh, a fixed uh, thread pool is a very common type of thread pool that is frequently used in the multi-threaded application. Uh, in a fixed uh, thread pool, the executor service makes sure that the pool always has the specified number of threads running. If any thread dies due to the some reason, it is replaced by the new thread immediately. Uh, when a new task is submitted, uh, the executor service picks one of the available threads from the thread pool and executes task on that thread. If we submit more tasks than the available number of threads uh, as we have done over here, so we have our two threads but we have submitted three tasks. In that case all the threads are currently busy executing the existing, existing task then the new task will wait for their turn in the queue. Right. So that's the uh, concept behind the uh, uh, basically uh, thread uh, pool as well as uh, uh, queue where all tasks are waiting in the queue to get uh, his own turn now let's uh, talk about the here we, i'd like to talk about the thread pool uh, over here just a minute yeah so let's talk about the thread pool how basically thread pool works so in this slide uh, some of the things we have already discussed in the previous video tutorial now let's see what is thread pool so most of the executor imp implementation use thread pools to execute tasks uh, thread pool is nothing but a bunch of worker threads that exist separately uh, from the runnable or callable tasks and that is managed by the executor here callable task as of now uh, you don't care about these things uh, how to create a task using call level that uh, we will uh, see in the next video series so uh, as of now we have created a task using runnable now second point creating a thread is an expensive operation right and it should be minimized having worker threads minimizes the overhead due to thread creation because executor service has to create the thread pool only once and then it can reuse the threads for executing any task right so basically thread pool creates the uh, threads in the beginning itself and same 
uh, and, and then and those threads getting reused so creation of threads uh, will not be overhead uh, 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 overhead taken explicitly that is taken care by the executor framework is itself right so tasks are submit here you can see the pictorial representation of executor service here you can see when you submit the different task then that is going to be stored in the uh, blocking queue right so i have first i have submitted task one then task two then task three right so that is basically uh, stored in the some kind of blocking queue and you have a thread pool which contains different uh, worker threads so here thread one two thread four there are four thread if you specify the size four then four worker thread will be created and that will be in the pool and once you submit the task right so then uh, every task is going to assign to the particular worker thread if you are going to uh, here submit more than four tasks right then uh, rest of the task has to wait in the queue to get his own turn right once the thread will be free from the thread pool then particular task will be assigned to the uh, worker thread right so here you can see the explanation tasks are submitted to a thread pool via an internal queue called a blocking queue if there are more tasks than the number of active threads they are inserted into the blocking queue for waiting until any thread becomes available if blocking queue is full then new tasks are rejected right so these are the key points uh, you will have to keep in mind when uh, you have a multiple task and uh, you have a